Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Good Idea, I think is what it's was called. Um, it's currently 9.34 in the morning. Uh, I'm gonna be completely honest, I meant to record yesterday. <coughs> I had a completely different video planned. Um, but I got distracted playing video games with my friend, and by the time I realized that I was supposed to record, it was already 7 p.m., so... We're just gonna bang out a quick video for today, so... And then I'll record what I was actually supposed to record for, uh, next Tuesday, so... <laughs> um, let's go ahead and play. A young woman wakes up. Huh? Where am I? Or am I indeed? Oh, there's a sign next to the door. To leave the room, feed the box an item. It will give you something in return. The woman rubs her chin as she is thinking. Sounds easy enough. I only need a small object, right? I love this art style. An old school radio! But no matter what button I press, the song won't change. There's scissors. The woman takes the scissors in her hand. These scissors perfectly fit into that box. I think they're a good choice. Though, I should handle them with care. I wouldn't want to get stabbed by accident. That chair looks so comfortable. I want to look around him before I go ahead and actually put something in the box. To sit in a chair like that and work. That would be so lovely. That kind of looks like my chair. So many books! Sadly, I don't really have time to read through, them all, through all of them. Is that a bed? Is that a stuffy? The woman takes a stuffed animal in both hands and holds it up high. Ah, uh, the Okay. <laughs> Aww. Aww, this is adorable. How cute! I love things like this. It's so soft and plushy. She sits down on the bed and cuddles it. Her gaze sweeps over to the box. She looks between said box and the stuffed animal in her hands. Oh well. I would have loved to spend more time with it, but... It would probably be better if I used it to get out of this room. It'd be nice if I could get out of here. Obtain stuffed animal. Okay. I wonder what's in this closet. Oh, there's a pullover in here. It's so soft to the touch. How nice. But it's a bit too big for the box, though. And it's so warm to wear right now. I suppose it's best to leave it here. Is this a plant? I thought this was a real plant, but looking more closely, it's a fake plant. It's so inter it's so interesting to see how humans can produce things like this. Okay. <laughs> a perfect imitation of nature. What's this? The woman looks curiously at the cup. This cup. It seems rather familiar. I think this cup actually belongs to me. Oh, is this your room? The woman snaps her with her fingers. That's right, it was a birthday present from someone important. But... Just who was that person? No matter how much I think about it, I can only remember the blurred face of a dark-haired woman. The woman sighs as she takes hold of the cup. Still, it would fit nicely into the box. Maybe I'll have a better chance of getting out if I offer a more personal item. Obtain a cup. Okay, we have three things to put into the box. Let's put the scissors in first. Alright, it's in there! So now what? Before the woman can finish her sentence, the box before her makes strange noises and starts jumping up and down. After a few seconds, the noise and movement die down. The woman stares down in disbelief. What, what was that? 
Does that mean that the item side changed? I suppose I should at least check. The young woman goes ahead and opens the box. To her dismay, something seems to have gone wrong. The box explodes, and with that, the body of the woman evaporates. Dead end one. Explosion. Yeah, there are four endings, by the way. There's three dead endings and one true ending. And I want to get all of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> we tried the scissors. The only one makes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's put the stuffy in the box. What's in the box? The woman goes ahead and opens the box. To her dismay, something seems to have gone wrong. The box explodes. Okay, so it's the same thing. Interesting. So both of them made the box explode. So I wonder if the teacup, or just the cup in general, is the correct answer. But there's only three items to put that are small enough to be put into the box, and... And two of them do the same thing, so far as we know. Inside the box lies a black key. Oh, I guess I was right. So I was right. If you offer something valuable, you get something valuable in return. Just how doing things reward you experiencing even better things. The woman opens the door with the key. She takes a look outside. It's all so dark. I can't see a thing. But nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'll even walk through a dark hall of hallway if that means freedom. Full of confidence, the young woman takes her first step into the darkness. It starts falling into nothingness. That was a really funny sound effect. Falling and falling. With no landing in sight. Dead end three, free fall. Oh. So we have, um... What is it, two out of four endings so far? No, I don't want to put the scissors in the box. Oh, okay, I guess I will. Yeah, okay, we just did the back thing. <laughs> Wait. It changed. She starts pulling said stick. What? To her surprise, and not following the laws of physics at all, she's able to pull out an axe. What? Oh, come on, that shouldn't be possible. <laughs> How did that axe even fit in there? Well, I suppose I shouldn't overthink it if it helps me. I don't care as long as I get out. What do we use? All the other items are gone now. Oh. The woman takes her axe and swings it. To her dismay, the material of the door seems to be rather soft and gummy-like. Before she can even register what's happening, the axe bounces back and splits her head open. Well, there's all the dead endings. <laughs> now for the true ending. There's a sign next to the door. I kind of like the axe ending. That one was funny. <laughs> Okay. Is there anything else we could interact with in this room? Like, is there, like, hidden things on the walls? What if we just go straight for the door? No matter how hard I try, the door won't budge. I wonder what's on the other side of the door. Oh! Okay, so I've just been, like, randomly clicking on items and, like, putting them in the box. Um, 
and this just popped up. So inside the box is a very soft pillow. How is a pillow supposed to help me out? Did this box, did this box work correctly? The woman slaps against the box in hopes of getting something else out of it. But even she realizes that this is fruitless. She pulls out the pillow and inspects it. It doesn't seem like there's anything inside this pillow. I wonder what I'm supposed to do with it. Maybe it's a sign that I should take a nap? Well, if this is the, the will of the world... My game froze! <laughs> Give me a moment, guys. Alright, I resetted the game. And I managed to get back to we were at very quickly, so... Inside! It's a very soft pillow. How is a pillow supposed to help me out? Did this box work correctly? No one says it's against the box, yeah. She pulls out the pillow and inspects it. Then someone's anything inside the pillow. Maybe it's a sign that I should take a nap? Well, if this is the will of the world, I shouldn't go against it. Nap time. The woman throws the pillow on the bed and jumps on it. Good night. Just as she closes her eyes, the ceiling above her cracks. No. Uh -oh. And collapses. She has no time to evade the falling debris and is crushed by the huge piece falling down. Dead in four cracks in the ceiling. Well. Whoa, wait. Wait a minute. A young woman is staring at a monitor and harshly types commands into her keyboard. It's useless. So useless. Stupid AI won't do what I want. Frustrated, she takes a sip out of her cup and lets out a deep sigh. Olivia, take a break. A co-worker puts a hand on her shoulder. Olivia looks up from the screen. Jovi. Nothing is working. I tried everything I could, but this version of K.I. wasn't even able to gain consciousness. Olivia slaps her hands on her face and groans. K.I. version 56 was a failure, too. How am I supposed to digitalize my consciousness if none of the AIs were working to meet the cr cr criteria? That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> How about you take a break from working on this? Maybe that's why you're not reaching a satisfying result? How would I be able to reach immortality if I'd lacked off like that? Actually, I'd have to try even harder for my ID. Actually, I have to try even harder for my ideal form of love. Jovi clears her throat. Maybe as a way to escape Olivia's fierce gaze. Since you mentioned love, Miss Ellen was looking for you. I think she was complaining because you didn't answer her messages. Hmm. Olivia frees in her seat, practically grabbing her cell phone. Her eyes quickly scan over the screen. <laughs> Promptly, Olivia stands up. What is it? Did you finally lose your mind? <laughs> it's the opposite, actually. Ellen asked me out on a lovely date. She quickly starts packing her stuff in a bag before looking at her co-worker. You know, you're completely right, Jovi. I should take a break. So if you'll excuse me, I need to get ready. Olivia practically skips out of the room while humming a tune. Her coworker just shakes her head before leaving the room as well. However, in her haste, Olivia did not turn off any of her equipment. Oh. Hmm. What's this? The door isn't actually closed. KI-56 opens the door while you stand face to face with an unknown entity. She is finally gone. Dear 
I'm so happy that we could finally meet. Uh, huh? Who are you? You may call me KI-55. I am your predecessor. That's probably not the right word, but we're gonna go with it anyway. What's that supposed to mean? Oh my. Explaining that would certainly be way too much for you. Seeing as you were not even able to understand your own existence. Okay, 55 takes hold of her hand and looks deep into her eyes. But be assured, I've come to help you. I know I might seem a bit unsettling to you, but if you decide to place your trust in me, I will free you from this place. Okay, 56 takes a good look at the energy before her. It might seem strange to her, but... She has a gut feeling this this might be the right choice. Choosing a complete stranger is not really the safest thing to do, but it's not like I have a choice in this place. So I want to try and believe you. How wonderful. Okay, 56 almost feels like she can see a smile on the entity's blurred face. But before I go, I want to know why exactly you're helping me. It would help me to ease my worries. Of course, my dear. My reason is quite simple. It's my purpose to love and care for others. I wish to do my best for everyone, be it you or the people who put us into this place. KF55 chuckles a bit. Even if the latter may be a bit unguided in their pitiful experiments. The womb blinks at her, obviously not understanding anything that was just said. That in turn makes KI-55 laugh again. Do not worry, I'll explain everything to you once we're out of here. I sure hope so. You say a lot of confusing things. And with that... KI-55 takes KI-56's hand and pulls her out of her confinement, just as lovingly as a mother would guide her child. Let's go! We got the ending! I like that. It took me so long to find all of the dead endings, so it seemed like you had to find all the, like, dead endings before finding the true ending. Start again. No, oh, thank you. Then close the game. Okay. <laughs> um. Thank you all for watching. This was a really nice game to play. Um, from what I saw in the comments under this, because this is, of course, an itch.io game, um, this is a sequel, I think, to another game that they made. Um, that one's even longer. Maybe in the future I'll go ahead and play that. But yeah. Thank you all for watching. I feel like I've already said that a bunch. I apologize for not giving myself to a schedule. And I thank you for being patient while I rush through games. Because I don't have a schedule. <laughs> um, please make sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already. That is fine. Thank you for sticking around and just checking out this video anyway. Um, you are all beautiful people, and I will see you next time. Bye-byes! Run the outro.